So we're finally at trade, and it's it's just such an epic uh epic thing that I just had to make the 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 title bold. So what we're gonna start off with is we're gonna start off with exports, and exports is just like uh, investments and government. That is, X is simply equal to X not. And I want to say that make a note that when export rise so when exports rise that means more income simple as that you sell more sell more goods to other countries you get more money imports is not as not as uh, intuitive I guess for imports M M is equal to little m times y and to little m, little m is equal to the change in imports, or big M, over the change in big Y. And this is the marginal propensity, marginal propensity, propensity to import. To import and I'm just gonna abbreviate this to MP import MP import and net exports is a simple concept net export NX is simply equal to the exports minus the imports or it is equal to if we expand everything else X naught minus little m big Y and the next thing I want to cover is exchange rate exchange rate and we will dub exchange rate with little e so I'm sure you guys have heard of exchange rate before and it is the amount of domestic currency domestic currency currency for one unit or one unit of foreign currency of foreign currency so how much money do I have to spend for just one unit of foreign currency so for example for example in my notes uh, in my notes probably different right now let me check let me check so uh, so right now a dollar Canadian is equal to 99 cents US 99 cents US is let's say this is equal to currency US and that is equivalent to a dollar in Canadian dollars so we can say that uh, we can say that uh, if we give a dollar of Canadian money, we get back 99 cents in US. And that's pretty much the idea of, uh, of, of the exchange rate. And there's two things I want to go through right now really quickly because I think I'm running out of time and that is currency depreciation and the other thing is currency appreciation currency appreciation and these two concepts are really simple currency and currency depreciation what happens is the exchange rate goes up and in currency appreciation exchange rate goes down and simple definition is that 
your currency depreciation, your domestic currency, your domestic currency is weaker, is weaker than before, than before. And in currency appreciation, your domestic currency, your domestic currency is stronger than before. Is stronger than before. So, as an example, uh, when uh, when the when the feds in the U.S. have to pass the the debt uh, limit to or to raise their debt limit for their debt that they had to repay at the time of this recording or a few weeks before this recording, the currency for the Canadian dollar was stronger than US because, well, I'm Canadian and the Canadian dollar was stronger because at the time the Canadian economy was, uh, was better than the US. But let's say 20 years before the US economy was much better than uh, the Canadian economy, I guess. And that is when uh, that is an example of when domestic currency is weaker and and recently recently when the Canadian economy is uh, is stronger than the US economy that is when domestic currency for Canadian dollar is stronger and that's all I want to cover in this video and I hope to see you again